Hello everyone, Brian Hogg here, and I want to create a quick video on how you can create your translation files using the free version of PoEdit or PoEdit, however you pronounce that, over at uh, poedit.net. It does have a paid version, which you can pay, I think it's about $20 US, but there is uh, a way you can do that using the free version. So if we head over to PoEdit, once I've got that downloaded, you actually don't create a new translation, but if you head up to File and then New, and then pick which language that your plugin was created in. So for myself, I'll do English. And from here, you would go Extract from Sources. So you can't click that yet. You actually have to save this file first. So if I just do Save, and then I created a Languages folder within my plugin, and in there, I'll just have my en file and it'll create a .po and a .mo file that will be used to for other people to grab and be able to translate from English into another language. So if I hit save, now I can go to extract from sources and it gives you this really long, uh, so you can see it's in the plugins, whatever folder. So I wanna add the path to my plugin. So if I do add folders, and I'll go up, sorry, one level to Event Calendar Short Code Pro. So this is the main folder for my plugin. So I'll hit open there. And it does, again, prompt you that there's a way to do the WordPress translation or for full WordPress functionality, but we can ignore that. And now if we go over to source keywords, now we have to add each of the functions that we've used in our plugin to create a translation. So a standard one is double underscores. Another one's underscore E to translate and echo out that result. But I've also got some instances of a couple others. So escape HTML here, I'm using escape HTML and then double underscore, but you can also have this where you do both at the same time. So you're escaping for any HTML and you're also translating at the same time. So I also have to add that as a keyword in the PoEdit keywords. So I'll drop that in. And if you have any other ones, you have to add those in too. So I'll hit OK. And you can see it's now grabbed all the translations and put them in there. So if one is missing, for example, you missed one of those functions, you can head up to catalog properties, go over to source keywords. And again, here you can add another, say escape attribute, double underscore, hit okay. And then do a refresh. And you can see it's refreshed and grabbed any additional strings that might have been missed. So now we have our PO and our MO files created and we can send those over to whoever needs them or add them into something like LotPress so people can collaborate and translate your plugin.